How to make a simple electric motor. If projects like the potato power digital clock are a bit old school, up your game with a simple electric motor to wow the judges at your next science fair. You will need three feet of 22 or 24 gauge insulated wire, one D cell battery, a pair of wire strippers or scissors, a permanent marker, one plastic cup, two disc magnets, two large paper clips, two large rubber bands, and four alligator cable clips. Step one, coil the wire around the D-cell battery several times. Remove the coil and wrap the ends around two sides of the coil to hold it in place. Leave three inches of wire lead on each end. Step two, strip both ends of the wire coil leads. Hold the coil vertically and coat one half of one lead with a permanent marker. Apply a second coat of ink. The ink coating is very important as it allows a break in the magnetic field to keep the coil spinning. Step three, turn a plastic cup upside down and place one disc magnet on top while putting the other inside the cup against the roof to hold both magnets in place. A clear cup works best to display your work and to prove there are no other mechanisms. Step four, straighten the outside ends of both paper clips to form a P. Attach the paper clips to the cup using two large rubber bands to build a cradle for the wire coil. Step five, balance the coil inside the paper clip cradle loop. Adjust the height so the coil just misses the magnets when it spins. Attach an alligator cable clip to each paper clip just above the rubber band. Step six, connect the D-cell battery to the coil using the other two alligator clips. Be sure one end is connected to the positive side and the other to the negative side of the battery. Give the coil a gentle spin. Step seven, adjust the balance of the coil and the distance between each paperclip cradle. Experiment with the configuration until you have a working motor. Did you know, in 1899, Thomas Edison believed electricity would run the cars of the future. He spent a decade trying to perfect an electric car battery, but was ultimately defeated by gasoline power.